What's going on ladies and gents welcome back to another video it's your boy jnrk across the world today we got a new series coming up on the channel right now and um we're starting off using the buffalo buffalo the cincinnati Bengals. but i'm gonna show you guys what we're doing with them in a second but just to give you guys a quick overview of what we're doing so basically we're trading for one of the four players so we're trading for the top needs that the that the team needs and um so we're starting off with the Bengals. So let me show you how what we're working with. So we got the Bengals here. We have a 69 offense, 74 overall total, and 81 overall defense. So when we go to the trade center, we got their top targets being right tackle, fullback, left guard, quarterback, tight end. So what we're going to go for, we're going to go for the right tackle, the left guard, and the tight end. So that, those are the skill positions that we're, or the certain, the number of positions that we're going after. And um, so we're going to start off with the tight end position. And boom. So here we are starting off with the tight end position. we got Mark Andrews, George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, and Darren Waller. So these guys are going to be tough to try to get, but we're going to see uh, what we can do. So without further ado, let's spin. So we have to go over George Kittle. That's... Damn, George Kittle is the first guy we have to go for. Okay, probably gonna have to give it the world for uh, George Kittle, but let's see how that works with. <laughs> go with the Niners. They want a quarterback, a right out to linebacker, and a corner. They want a corner. Um, we can give them Eli Apple, who they're not interested in whatsoever. Okay, so maybe we don't go for George. No, we do. We have to go for George Kittle. So third straight up for George Kittle. Oh my God, a first round pick. Okay, make a better offer. A first and a second for George Kittle. Damn, that's our right, first this year and a first next year. Should go through for... Ah, actually, I want to save one of those picks. So we're going to go for a third this year and a second next year for George Kittle. Need a bit more value. All right, so a second of this year and a fourth of next year should definitely go through then. Okay, damn, then a third of next year. I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you guys our top three picks of this year what all right so a second of next year as well or right, how about we try to get like a corner in this wait yeah why don't we try a corner they give them chidobi awuzi our first round pick in chidobi awuzi and there's someone interested and we could give them like a third round pick okay maybe not a third maybe like a fourth and then hopefully this trade goes through okay so maybe a third will have to be it chidobi awuzi a first and a third that still doesn't go through. All right, we're going to give them next year's second then for George Kittle. Let's see if this goes through. Trade offer was accepted. We have picked up George Kittle. So now the next position we're going to go for, we're going to go for the left guard position. So here we are with these top four guys. We got Quentin Nelson, Joe Thune, Elton Jenkins, of course, Packers guard, and Joel Batonio. So let's see who we spin for and who we have to trade for. So we're going with Elton Jenkins, Packers left guard. Not too bad. So now let's get over to here in the manual trade section. We're going to trade with the Packers for a left guard. They want a fullback. Um, no can do, sir. Uh, so we're trading for a, we're trading for their all pro left guard. Hopefully, hopefully we can get, get it straight up with a pick, like a third round pick straight up. Okay, maybe a second round pick straight up. Because I don't want to give them... I don't want to have to give them a player that mm, left in. If we had backups, then maybe. But we don't really have, like, backup D, like linemen on the team. Like, even Quinton Spain, I believe, wouldn't even work. So we're going to have to give up some picks just to get a, a third of next year and a third of, third of this year. Let's see if that works for Elton Jenkins. No. So we give them a second of this year and a third of next year. They say they need a bit more value. So we throw in our six of this year too, and we get Elton Jenkins. So we just short up that left guard position, and now we're gonna go for our biggest need of right tackle. So let's see who we spin for. So our four right tackles of choice, we put Ryan Ramchick, Mike McGlinchey, Tristan Wurst, and Taylor Mullen as the players we're gonna try to trade for, or one of the players we're gonna try to trade for. So let's see who we spin for. Let's see who it turns out to be Tristan Wirfs is who we're trading for. So we have to try to trade for Tristan Wirfs and see if we have to give up the house for him because he's on the Buccaneers. Um, 
Well, goddamn. I know that's going to be a little tough because he is a rookie. But we're going to try our best here. Um, see if a third and four straight up would go for Tristan Wirfs. Holy crap. A first of next year straight up. A third of this year. Oh, my God. This is going to take the world to trade for him. And Sam Hubbard. Holy crap. All right. So, we have to give them somebody. Maybe DJ Reader. All right. Maybe DJ Reader, a third of this year, and our first round pick. Maybe that goes through. Holy crap. That's not going to go through. What do we do to get Tristan worse? What can we do? So first straight up, they want a quarterback. We can't do that. They want a fullback. We can't. We're not doing that. Maybe give them Tyler Boyd and DJ Reader. Maybe that goes through. Let's see. Gave him. Give them like two starters. That's not gonna go through. We might. We might have to abort mission and try trading for uh, someone else. Yeah, we might have to do that. Let's spin it. Let's let's spin it again. Yeah. So we're gonna definitely have to spin that again because that's way harder than I thought it would be. You gotta be shitting me, Ryan Ramchick, the probably the highest overall right tackle. Oh boy. So we're trying for Ryan Ramchick here, and I don't even know what will go through for him. Maybe a first of next year would go through. Oh, oh, say that, say less, say less, say less, say less. A first of this year, bet, bet. <laughs> so we got Ryan Ramchick with ease. We now have a 80 offense and 81 overall defense. And um, we're obviously going to sign a center because I don't like that Sutherland is our starting center, who's a 55. And we also have George Kittle. So we're looking pretty, pretty good here. So let's sign that free agent center. And then let's see how uh, we perform during the regular season. So we're going to sign Austin Raider just to, just to sign him. So now we short up that center position. So let's see. If we can, um, actually, let's send to the regular season. So now let's send to the playoffs and see uh, if we can make it. So we ended up not making the playoffs. We ended up going eight and eight. So not too bad for the uh, for the Bengals. Surprisingly, I did do this video before, but my file got corrupted. But we did end up making the playoffs, going ten and six with um, different plays. We had Travis Kelsey, and left guard was Joe Thune, and right tackle was Ryan Ramchick. So that's interesting. Our offense was twenty first. Joe Burrow was seventh in passing TDs. And then our defense was 12. So Joe Burrow had 35 touchdowns, 14 picks. So simulation didn't love him. But Joe Mixon had 1,000 yards, pretty solid. George Kittle has 777 yards with 9 TDs. And let's see how many times Joe Burrow got sacked. He got sacked 27 times. So that's not even bad at all. That's actually really solid. Um, that's actually really solid for us. And defense, not the greatest, but... Hey, not too bad. We to be to finish eight and eight and bottom of our division. That means the competition was stacked this year. But without further ado, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below what I like to see on the channel. This is your boy Jnark, and uh, remember, you gotta be a fiend to succeed. Peace.